Our developer advocates are back with some new updates, so let's get on with SAP Developer News. Later this month, we have another SAP Community Q&A call with SAP Executive Board Member and Chief Technology Officer, Jürgen Müller. He'll be sharing some SAP Business Technology Platform highlights and giving you a sneak peek at the plans for Sapphire Now. If you have questions or feedback for Jürgen or just want to listen to what he has to say, register now. The event is on Friday the 28th of May. See you there. In the SAP Developer News, we are generally telling you about new things like product announcements or learning content. But in this segment, we want to point out an important upcoming end of maintenance for SAP HANA. At the end of June 2021, less than two months from now, mainstream maintenance will end for all on-premise HANA versions except HANA 2.0 SPS 05. It's important to understand the impact that moving out of mainstream maintenance and into customer-specific maintenance might have on your SAP HANA systems. This means no delivery of new support packages, no updates to cover legal changes, technology updates are limited, and for more information, please refer to section 2.3.4 of the customer-specific maintenance document for more details. This end result is that we want to encourage all customers to strongly consider moving to HANA 2.0 SPS 05, which will remain in maintenance until June 2025. As many of our viewers may already be involved in such upgrades, we would point you to the excellent collection of resources and content by Dennis Van Kemp. This is a great resource for developers and admins helping their companies on this journey. There are links to details on the release and maintenance schedule for SAP HANA, and to Dennis's blog post in the description of this video. There's a new blog post out covering SAP Fury for SAP S4 HANA. We know that a lot of you are looking for more information on this topic, especially in relation to the Launchpad. This blog post certainly has a lot of information to dive into, a classic Jocelyn Dart post. Check it out over on SAP Community and get involved in the conversation. A few weeks ago in the SAP Developer News, we told you about the launch of the Vue.js support in the Business Application Studio. Now that's Vue as in V-U-E, an open source JavaScript front end development framework and one that is supported by SAP Fiori Fundamentals. This new functionality in the Business Application Studio makes it easier to build applications using the open Vue.js technologies combined with Fiori look and feel consume SAP Business Application backend data, integrate the UI into the SAP Launchpad service, and then deploy and run the application from the SAP BTP runtimes. And to help you get started using this new functionality in the Business Application Studio, there's now a tutorial available at developers.sap.com. Even if you're just curious about this new option, we'd encourage you to take the 20 minutes or so and learn by creating your first application, following along with this new tutorial. 